Hi, this is Shri Veronica. A couple days back, I got a blog in about this guy, Rico Brown, and they said he had recently moved into an apartment complex, Country Park Towers, and he wasn't well known in the area, and around a couple of days before Christmas, he showed up and he was inebriated, he, you know, had some Mount Gay rum all in him, and he was acting up, and the guys that were there asked him, well, who are you? We don't know you. You need to get off um, or block all. There was some sort of confrontation, and... Rico Brown was asking them, well, do you know who I am? Like he was some big shot that he claimed that he was part of the BDF and that he was the cook for Sandra Mason. He works for the president there in Barbados. So he felt as though he was a big shot. So when the guys ran him to the gate, he called up some people, his brothers, and when the brothers, when Rico's brothers hop into a vehicle, three of them, they were actually intercepted by the right strike people, protect and serve people there in Barbados. And they were caught with um, contraband or weapons. And one of them escaped and two of them were taken in. So with that happening, Rico got really upset and so he called the race stripe now and accused the guys, the young guys, of running him because they didn't know him and he was acting up and cursing and carrying on. He accused them of trying to rob him and the race stripe picked up um, one of them. One of them appeared in your newspaper today, Akeem Shang. Akeem Emmanuel Shang. So this story came to me, but people were not sure of the last name of Rico. They just had the first name, but now it's here, Rico Brown. So sometimes when you hear a story, you can hear it from all different sides. So the side that I heard it from was that Rico was new to that particular development. It just was there for a week or so prior to him showing up drunk and carrying on and the young guys trying to run him off because they didn't recognize him you could believe that or you can believe that um maybe as he said they were trying to rob him and then there's another third story of him calling his brothers and they were attempting to show up to the place with weapons you know because he told the brothers also that these young men tried to rob him so you don't know what the story is but it is in your news and a young man was um, arraigned and he's on out on bail and he has to show up you know in the police station every so what however often he's supposed to show up at the district a every wednesday but some things are not always what they seem. Sometimes when you hear something, you it's not everything is not what you think it is. And when someone thinks that they have a certain position, that's something that people like. When they think that they have a certain position, they think they're better than you. They think that they are better than you and they can get away with whatever they can get away with because they have a position, they may have a title. But let's look and see. We'll watch this one and see how it pans out. But from what I have heard before he even reached the paper, the guy, Rico, was um, causing a problem and the young men tried to run him off because they didn't recognize him. This is Sheriff Veronica.